Yes, it's shocking. I can save $244 a month. That is $2,928 a year just on my car by doing these five things. But it's actually more than that. One of these things just isn't even quantifiable. So let's go over them. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. Yes, I am not even joking. We actually saved this and I'm gonna go through the math and you're gonna see it. So let's jump on in. The first item is on gas. Now, I think we can all agree that gas is the single most expensive item every month for your vehicles. Unless you have a car payment or you're saving to buy a car, then that might be equal to gas. For us, we are a two vehicle family. Well, technically, if you count all my parents' vehicles and then I have a vehicle in storage, we're like a six vehicle family, but we only drive two vehicles every month on a regular basis between Mauricio and I. We have our electric hybrid vehicle, which we love. And we use that as the primary vehicle for our family. Mauricio and I carpool together, which is a huge savings because we don't have to drive the expedition. And our vehicle is a Ford Fusion Titanium, which we love and are so glad that we got because it saves us so much every month in gas by driving it. The way the vehicle works is it's because it's an electric slash hybrid, the first 20 miles you drive every day are on electricity. So we can get the majority of the way to and from work on electricity alone. So, and then when we get home, we plug in the car and it charges up again. Now, the difference between not having an electric vehicle and having an electric vehicle pull on the on the electricity for the house was about $5 a month. When the two of us are driving separately, like in the summer, for example, because you know one of us is dropping Melina off and the other is picking Melina up from summer camp, we spend on average about $203 a month for gas. And when we are carpooling together, driving the electric hybrid, we spend approximately $31 a month on gas. So that's a savings of $172 a month. Now, if Mauricio and I weren't working close together and we had to commute in different directions, obviously this wouldn't be an option, but for us, it is a fantastic option. So the second way we save money every year on our vehicle is with tire rotation and alignment wait, what? Doesn't that cost money? How can it save you money if it costs money? Well, actually for us, programming a tire rotation and alignment into the budget every six months does not cost us anything because it came as a warranty with the purchase of our new tires. So I actually put it on the calendar to remind us to do it because we get two free tire rotations and alignments every year and rotated and aligned tires make your tires last longer. So ultimately saving you money. Now, if you buy your tires at like a big box store like Costco or something, maybe you can't get this as an option, but we priced it out and the tires we were gonna buy at Costco and the tires we were gonna buy at Just Tires were actually almost identical price-wise. So we went ahead and bought the tires at Just Tires and got the free alignment and rotation for three years. So we put it on the calendar and it saves us $25 a month because each tire rotation and alignment at Just Tires is $150 because it's 75 for two sets of tires. And we just do it for all four tires every six months and they just rotate them around and then align them and balance them. So $150, it saves us twice a year, $300 a year, which averages out to be $25 a month. The next way that we save every month on our car is by doing our own car washing. 
I know it's time consuming and in the winter time it's cold, but it saves us $32 a month and we can use that $32 elsewhere. The next way we save is actually again on gas and we use grocery rewards points to buy our gas. Now, if we were Costco members, we would actually probably fill up at Costco, but because we don't have our Costco membership active, we go ahead and buy gas at a regular gas station, but we use our grocery reward points when we buy gas and we only buy gas about once a month because we do have that electric hybrid vehicle. Then it usually averages out to almost a dollar a gallon off every month. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. And then the final way that we save money on our car, I actually didn't tally into this spreadsheet because it's not really quantifiable because it's fluid. It changes from year to year depending on what you need. So we found a phenomenal mechanic who's about half the price of the dealership. So we could get our car fixed at Ford if we really wanted to, but Ford's expensive. So we try and only get the cars fixed at Ford or CarMax or whatever when it's something that's under warranty or it's a recall situation. And for whatever reason, the Ford Fusion Titanium has lots of bizarro recalls. So we do take it frequently, but that never costs us anything. But we take it to this independent car repair place and he is phenomenal. We have never had an issue and he is solid on his pricing and, and it ends up being half of what we're quoted at the dealership. In the very beginning, we would get a quote from the dealership and then we would go ahead and take it to this other location. So we love them. We will always continue to use them, but I didn't, I didn't quantify this because I legitimately have no idea how much it has saved us over the lifespan of our car. So I didn't add that, but understand that doing this actually saves you thousands over the life of your car. I am going to be continuing on in the series of how we save thousands and thousands of dollars every month on our, our lives and focusing on different areas of our lives every month. So if you like these type of videos, give me a big old thumbs up or tell me some ways that you save because I'm always looking for other ways to save. So. I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.